looked for anything like that, but it's saying, I'm about to be a cameraman. What should I look for, Chat GPT? It's going to give you a list of things. It's going to get you right. It's going to have you with all the details. Is it going to really make you smarter, though? Is it going to make you better? Because you don't really have the wherewithal and the actual intelligence to use any of the tools that it's giving you. It's case by case. Because, I mean, it's the same thing. Like what you just said, it's the same thing if you just search it up on Google. But if you're... But you'd be terrible. You're you're gonna be terrible if you search it up on Google. You're gonna be terrible if you search it up on ChatGPT. Those things come with skill, trial and error. That's the only way. Like skills, you have to come with trial and error. A essay, a mathematical problem, things you can just turn in, get graded on. That is what you could do ChatGPT for, and you learn nothing. It literally just type it in, right past your head. Those are things that you could use ChatGPT for and learn absolutely nothing. If you're picking up a skill. I would still recommend ChatGPT because it's the same thing as. Come Google. on, give them to me, baby. All right, I'm in line. The pending is the worst. Dude, I'd be happy if I got these, but I'm not getting it. I know it. Got him. Got him. Better get him because I got him. I got him. Got him. What's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Fair Game Podcast. I am C. This is Cash. And we are back with another episode. This podcast is about the culture, music, sports, fashion, sneakers, and all that. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. How you feeling today, Cash? Uh, another one of those days that I slept two, three hours. Welcome to the club. High five. No. No. That, you're going to continue to attack me for the hand thing, but okay. It's pretty much. It's got to be every, every episode. I feel so, like every time. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. It's on you. I feel like every time we take time away, we, we, we watch a movie. Have you noticed that? I think so. Yeah, I've I've heard that you recently watched the Super Mario Bros. movie. Excellent. I said it was fire. What do you think? Mm. All right. I'm just going to give my rating. Eight out of ten. Start there. Movie of the year. Definitely not movie of the year. There were some Easter eggs in there. I love, I love a good Easter egg. Other than that, real quick, real thrown together, they let another company who made that movie do you know i'm pretty sure it was nintendo so i let another director make a mario movie on nintendo i think the most interesting part about it is probably the nintendo universe is going to open up hopefully i think it was more like how it performs and it is like the biggest video game quote on well, video game inspired movie ever ever, ever. yet yeah, to date yeah so big I deal i think mario is that level of video game, I would say, though. I'm trying to think of another video game that would even... Grand Theft Auto. A Grand Theft Auto video game? That would be pretty fire. That would be fire. But, uh, I mean, you could definitely get inspired from Grand Theft Auto and spin it your own way. Not like a Grand Theft Auto movie, if that makes sense. Okay. I feel what you're saying. Uh, Maybe, I mean, Sonic has one. That's a pretty big movie. It has, it has a series already. But it wasn't great, though. I know. It's not It's not Super Mario, bro. They actually no. held that one back due to CGI. The Last of Us was a TV show. I think that's bar for bar for... They did a really good job. They did an amazing job. Season two might, might even be better. I could have did without three episodes of Last of Us. Wow. Other than that, the last couple of days, I'm pretty chill. I'm, I'm back to it. I'm focused. I'm, I'm laser locked. Okay. How about you, man? How do you feel? Solid, man. I am tired also. Um, I've definitely had about four days of two-hour sleeps. Just trying to get stuff done, make sure um, my personal status is up to date, and then also us as a group. So definitely a busy week. Busy week to come. I'm excited. What you got on? Uh, I got the Chicago Lost and Founds. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are becoming the dailies. Not even dailies. Uh, I see like I wear these like twice, three times a week. Those are fire. I definitely need to re up on a on a fresh pair very soon. I mean, they already came non fresh. I see what you did there, but they they were fresh. So, I mean, I really like that shoe. Uh, when did that come out? Last year? 
Last year. The end of last year? Around November, I think, probably. <sighs> Once again, Old Faithfuls, Good Fellows, Black Jeans. It might go down as one of the best jeans of all time. No cap. Then I got this Dragon Ball Z high plan collab. I don't know if this was an official collab. Don't quote me on this. So, because I know he's coming out with new Dragon Ball merch really soon. Who, um, who, who did that shirt? High plan. Friend of the store. A uh, big hit on the back. We're obviously going to show you. Pause. First off, there's a big graphic on the back. It's just Goku, baby Goku, adult Goku, and many other forms of. Kakaroto. Is pause offensive to anyone? It's just I'm just pausing. Like as in like hold on and like stop a space in time. Like pause really quick. I'm just pausing. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, what do you mean? That was just my question. No, just a question. Thank you for the answer. Uh-huh. I'm when just pausing to... and resuming. That's understood. I totally understand. I'm just asking just for my personal level day. I do it too. Just trying to figure it out. Well, why do you pause? See? There it is. I have no idea. It's just pause. Yeah. It's just a cultural thing. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. What, what do you I got on today? today? What Speaking what? of culture, uh, definitely took it back. Penny Hardaway to Orlando colorway. This is, I can't remember what year it dropped, but it's definitely on its way out. They need to retro it. Let me see. Um, Oh, the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the two. On the set, we got the one. Orlando. Once again, on the set, I'm a set guy. I could have won the ones, but I wore the twos because one of the topics we got going today. You should have went with the one on the left and two on the right. Ugh. That'd be disgusting. That'd be fine. I used to hate when people used to flip flop shoes, like a different color on one side, one side. Of a different color is fine, but a different whole silhouette is crazy. It's pretty crazy because you got two different comforts going on. Like if you go with the black and white, then a reverse black and white. Ugh. Okay. On the pants, good corduroys. On the tee, billionaire boys club. On the jacket, a good supreme just chain stitch jean jacket with the zip up in the front, it's like a worker's jacket. On the lid, this is the kill the hype mag park snapback. None too exciting. Wool hat. The shape's funny, but I really do like this hat for what it stands for. Um, this is our collab with Kill the Hype. Everybody loves that upside down LA synonymous with kill the hype. And then we did our little hit on it, our little take on it. You know what I mean? Blue and black for the Dodgers, blue and black to match the pennies. A little, little some, some light details, light details. What we got, what we got going today, man. Let's get into it, man. So when it comes to the culture today, we're talking about the takeover, not Jay-Z. Nothing like that. This is the takeover of AI. Lately in the news, we've been seeing a lot of AI business going around when it comes to music, art, fashion, uh, design. Anything you could think of, basically. Anything you could think of. Is it getting out of hand? Where are we at with this? Is it getting out of hand? I believe it's a great resource that... Like this roof is about to collapse on us. They're working on something upstairs. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Before you get there, before you go there, I just want to shape what we're talking about. So the reason why I was interested in this because Universal Music Group is trying to get all the AI records pulled down from streaming networks, whether it be SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, things like that. So you want to talk about that soul part of AI or well, no, this is the this vast what sparked, majority. This would spark my, my idea on this AI situation. However, I would love to talk about the vast majority of AI. There's so many aspects. And I know that you're definitely a person who's aware of AI and how things are going. Some people may be scared of things like that. I am definitely scared of it. Okay. We all seen movies. We all have seen world ending cyber takeovers. And that's more than capable to happen. If someone fucks up every single movie, Every, that, that's one possible way to go out. There's no doubt about it. But if we control it, if no one types a crazy script out there that gets out of hand, and we, we cool, we cool, we cool. Nervous, it was a nervous cool, but we cool. But I believe it's a, a resource that is definitely, 
that definitely helps us, but it shouldn't take over our job, if that makes sense. So I'll put into example, like us, we use chat GBT if we need video ideas, uh, if we need a, a minor script, but we don't full on use that script. We get those ideas, pull it, and we flip it to our own. So I, I believe Chat GPT is one of the, it's obviously the one that led the way on this. Some people are just using AI solely to create something and get out of there, not using any brain power. So I get what you're saying, like how we use Chat GPT. Others may be using Chat, Chat GPT to create an entire essay and just, I don't know, just completely cheat on their test at school or that's create, a w. Cre- that's a w that's think a so? big w how would you think cheating on your test with ai is a w hey we did it without freaking ai back in the day and then you should regret that because the point of school is to gain the knowledge if if it's not your major there's no point to but see to, you're talking about college though you're not talking about even in like, high you're not school. talking about high school or middle school in high school or middle school there's a ton of general ed that guess what these kids are going to be using AI to get past these general ed situations. That may hinder them in the future. I mean, that's guaranteed going to hinder them in the future. There's a very minuscule percentage of knowledge that you learn in high school that you use in the real world. So but what I, happens when they start to use chat GPT for real, real world situations? It may either help us or hurt us. Chat GPT, I'm getting bullied at school. What should I do? That is insane. So there's there's ways to look at it. There's your view is definitely correct. That's insane. There's some things that you gotta face in the real world that you just gotta face head on. And if, if it's something like that, don't don't bound to asking an AI what to do. But I have no one else. And I think that this AI is smarter than my parents. Because it's pulling from everywhere to gain knowledge. That is a lot and of power. That that is a what a lot of kids are gonna do, which is kind of scary. <laughs> but There's a generation of kids gonna be raised by AI. That's a crazy reach. It's I don't not. I don't believe that's gonna happen. There's a generation of kids right now raised by YouTube. Raised by Google. There's nothing wrong with that, though. If to an AI- extent, because you can put information out there that is not true. So if I go to wiki something and somebody makes that up, it's not true. I might run with that narrative. I mean, that is the positive side of AI because they're not running one source from one Wikipedia page or one Google page. Who programs AI? I, I wouldn't know that answer. That's the richest motherfucker out here. I don't think so. The the programmer of the AI? The guy who came up with the software? We're not paying for it yet. There's some there's some AI services that we're, we're paying for, but ChatGPT is not one of them right now. So you don't think that he's still getting paid for creating that software? They oh, yeah, it. for sure. For sure. Richest guy in the world is crazy, though. There's, definitely, the- there's definitely more important things than AI. There's more there's more important things than technology right now. Okay. I mean, that brings me to my second question. Does is it something that we actually care about, right? So when it comes to you to Universal Music Group suing all these guys for dropping this music, do we even care about the AI generated Kanye record? Do we Absol- care absolutely. about the Rihanna generated record or we do we love it? Absolutely. We're so desensitized. Both. Both. We okay. both love it, and we both, I feel like as artists, they definitely should hate it. As fans, they're going to love it. Why would you hate it as an artist, though? Because they're, they're copywriting you. They're stealing your, they're literally stealing you, your identity, and putting it on a song, and using your voice for art that it's, that's definitely like the only thing you have as an artist is your voice, in a way, if that makes sense. But if you're established, it, it should just boost your rating. It could. Like it somebody de- like Drake, right? It could definitely. I, I still strongly believe Search and Rescue was an AI hit. So if that was an AI hit, exactly. He, he, he just <laughs> purchased ten, it. 10 grand, yeah. I think that's a great idea. Like somebody like Rihanna, who has been waiting for an album for years, she just, like you said, buys a whole record. We get a Rihanna album. That's crazy. 
I think uh, the problem with the with the that's just gonna it's just gonna make everything lazy, less personable. Thank you so much, Cash. But I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's just some things you just don't need AI. I think everything you don't need. I think AI is like an add-on. It's like a like a bionic arm or something like. It that. is. It's not your whole flow. Yeah, when you use it as your whole flow, it it's most likely gonna hinder you. Would it though? It's yes. AI. If I put a bionic arm, it knows on, more than us. But I don't have the wherewithal to know how to punch. I might kill somebody. <laughs> that's the movie talking. That's the real. <laughs> that's the I mean, that's where we're talking. going. We're getting to the Terminator era. We're you see, like there. see, like that Wicked and, and Drake song. That shit was fire. It was fire. And that's good for the fans, man. Maybe AI. Maybe these artists are hearing these AI songs and be like. They putting out these fire hits. Now I got to go cook up. AI can't feel. That is my biggest concern. AI can't feel. So The weekend when he drops one of my favorite albums, not Don FM. Mm-hmm. What's the name of the album? After Hours, man. After Hours. After Hours. That's the name. The feeling that's in After Hours is what I got from that. And it's, you just can't mimic it. You, you can't. can't. It's impossible. But you can you mimic the sound, but you can't mimic the pain that he was going through and why he said it that way. That's true. I agree with you on that point. But I, go ahead. They can still make fire songs, man. But that's what I'm saying. We're in the microwave era. We're like, cool, man. It's a steak, but I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. This is such a it's it's a baby. It's it's very adolescent still. That's it's, the scariest part though. So what what happens when they say make a Drake song, but make it like you just broke up with your girlfriend? That's going to be possible. I, I think feel it's like that's already a, probably it's possible. already possible. Exactly. And that's scary because you're like, wow. like Or Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is the queen of breaking up. You make a Taylor Swift song, you're like, yeah, make it like you just broke up with your boyfriend. And he's black. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just telling you. That like, was a left turn. <laughs> the, point, the point is, I'm saying, you, for, for to use AI, you have to be very specific. See, my, my whole idea on AI is you can't just use AI and say, AI, make me a script. You have to set, you have to be very specific. You have to be smart to use AI. Artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence. Actual intelligence is still a thing. You know what I mean? Like that's the, that's the whole idea of it. If somebody like you, a creative mind, you can put in what you're looking for on a camera or camera settings because you know what you're looking for. Somebody who's never, ever looked for anything like that, but is saying, I'm about to be a cameraman. What should I look for, chat GPT? It's going to give you a list of things. It's going to get you right. It's going to have you with all the details. Is it going to really make you smarter, though? Is it going to make you better? Because you don't really have the wherewithal and the actual intelligence to use any of the tools that it's giving you. It's case by case. Because, I mean, it's the same thing. Like what you just said, it's the same thing if you just search it up on Google. But if you're... Say, but you'd be terrible. You're you're gonna be terrible if you search it up on Google. You're gonna be terrible if you search it up on ChatGPT. Those things come with skill, trial and error. That's the only way. Like skills, you have to come with trial and error. A essay, a mathematical problem, things you can just turn in, get graded on. That is what you could do ChatGPT for, and you learn nothing. It literally just type it in, right past your head. Those are things that you could use ChatGPT for and learn absolutely nothing. If you're picking up a skill. I would still recommend ChatGPT because it's the same thing as Google. So how do we know if who, who has talent or not? So, I mean, I'm kind of branching it off to like the other forms of AI, right? Like there's like an art form of AI. So you can literally put in make Mario sad on the beach, black. And keep going there. Gee, you can do that, yeah. You can totally do that. And it'll make a fire art piece. So... How do we separate the authentic from the fake? And what is actually the top tier now? There's no distinct, there's not, it's not distinctive anymore. I feel like that's been the case for a very long time now. I think you can always tell talent. You can tell talent in person. Through the phone, you really can't. I like that segue. 
You can tell talent in person through the phone. You cannot. That's what you just said. Yeah. I think that's beautiful because that's what's going to happen, right? For music, the live show is going to be important. For art, doing it in front of me is going to be important. Imagine you just go to a concert. They have a computer right there. If you're like, give me one second, guys. Cook me up a, a fire Drake beat with J. Cole singing on it. Ugh, I have the concert bumping. <laughs> the concert will probably be bumping. Problem is, we won't see J. Cole out there and we won't know the words. I think, see, like, those are things that will help artists out as well. Because you could tell the difference between who's real and who's not. Yeah. Who's the talent and who's not. Who's the one that's just using AI? That's where we both agree on, like, why AI should only be used as an add-on, as a bionic arm compared to Mr. C-13. That's the only reason why you should use it. It shouldn't be your whole, your whole steez, your whole flow. That's my only scary part about it. Is it's, it might be your whole steez and your whole flow. With and for, and for those people, it's not going to work out in the long run. Let's get darker, man. <laughs> black, think, ultra black. I think I'm pretty dark already. Me too, but we can go there. What happens when AI gets a predictive capability? Now, there's a movie out. It does. To a, an extent. I'm Take talking it. about the worst extent. Yeah, I know. I know. I already know what you're talking about <laughs> taking over the world. End of the world. Or just, you know what? Just how you're sitting. Just how you're sitting. You're going to predict what I'm going to do next. I, I feel like you're going to commit a murder. Let's send the SWAT team to your house. That, that's already happening. To come get you. That's already happening. That's scary. <laughs> humans do that to each other. That's why AI is important because now humans are going to control AI to then predict those type of things. Humans can also control AI to stop Dude. those things. And that's what I would like to see it go in, I, the direction I want to see it go. If we can do things like nobody's putting, typing in chat GPT how to stop world hunger. I'm pretty sure people's done that. They are, but more so searches. We all, we all know stopping world hunger is a very realistic thing that could happen. It's just homelessness. It's just not being done. Only, only so much can is only so much we could do as the general population. Does that make sense? One hundred percent. I mean, no. Yes and no. Yes, yes and no. Yeah. On a sheep scale, on a day to day basis, we can do as much as we can. On the grand scheme of things, I think, I think honestly, AI is going to make a lot of millionaires, a lot of billionaires, a lot of new billionaires are going to arise from using. Chat GPT and I mean, all these AIs. That goes along with the times. A lot of billionaires were made off of just the beginning of the internet. I, I don't want a I black want you, a black person made the internet. Did they so really? Know. Yep. Thank you for that. I don't know the back. name, but we're gonna put it up here. Black person made the internet. <laughs> gotcha. Black, ultra black. <laughs> that has to be a little, just a little, a little, a little. A little. <laughs> But that's a true statement. But, um, yeah, you have to get with the times. I don't want our listeners to be stuck in the past and just be hard-headed about this situation. If we learn how to use AI, you have a guaranteed job in the future. Agreed. Or no job. Or no job. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think we should definitely use AI to our best of our abilities, not be afraid of it. I mean, to an extent, right? Be cautious. Be cautiously afraid. Look both ways when you cross the street. Use ChatGPT. I know there's like a voiceover one. I would recommend that one. I forgot what it's called. You could definitely make some fire art. Use Notion for your app for notes. Notion AI. Whatever. There's like five different notions, apparently. Oh, let's just end it out. End it out. End it on. Use it as an add on. Use it as your bionic arm. Pretty much. Don't let it be your whole flow. Like I said a couple of times already, you feel me? I feel you. So we can get straight into releases, man. I feel like, I mean, I wouldn't call it releases so much anymore because 
releases are subject to change. Uh, yeah. I feel Every, like my vibes. Rumors. Go ahead. Everything's rumored to release. But yeah, there's every- one there's one releasing very soon. It, it might be So I got two releasing very soon. Zoom Generation Air Zoom Generation Dark Gray. This is called I mean the nickname is Cemented in Time. This is for LeBron's scoring title. That one's clean. Flames. I enjoy that one. I w- I could have got the the first home one. I forgot what it's called. Why did you not? Cuz the SB4 came out the same day. And I, I didn't. I have enough white and red shoes, so LeBron Zoom Generation ones were definitely not on my. Lord, please. Mm, uh, it's LeBron not a, Zoom Generation first home game. It's not a sought after pair for me. It's a PE. It's a nostalgic pair for everyone. Mm, you have seen LeBron I, do it. I wouldn't say everyone. Okay, understood. I mean, th- this is like, I don't know if you've seen that that Jordan, uh, the Jordan Thirteen that just sold for like. Three million or something like that. No, like way more, way more. We gotta look it up. But there's a Jordan 13 that sold for mad amount. A game worn pair. Game worn pair of 13. Oh, signed that's what up I said. Uh, he had like 41 points that game. I gotta look it up real quick. Just this to be sure. this shoe is cool. I mean, retail only. Definitely not resale. I just need that purple one, man. That purple suede one that he wore. Purple suede one's gonna be fire. That one's clean. This one's gonna be fire too. I, I'm glad that they're doing LeBron one silhouettes more often and switching up the colors on it. Cause at first they were just doing like the OGs, which is dope. I think that any collector should understand the wave of how they drop sneakers. So typically the OGs come first. They might not, they might be a little bit tweaked, but that's the time to cop. You know what I mean? The first retros of LeBron's. This is the time to cop. This is when we're going to be looking back like, man, man I should have got those. Got those dropped the first yeah, time. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So definitely. It's a clean colorway. Definitely a clean colorway. A few LeBrons that you could actually wear casually. And this is one of them. I can't find the shoe. However, Jordan 13s sold for like astronomical amounts of money. I can only think it's probably the playoffs. It was the playoffs for sure. But I, I just think. Definitely LeBron is in that category for me. I'm going to make sure. I, I already do. I was actually going to wear the LeBron 7s, but. I was thinking about wearing my LeBron 20s. We're on episode 9. I think that's a good idea. I, I would like to see how that works. Um, I, I do want to see the LeBron 20s with jeans, pants, and stuff. But. Uh, <laughs> I think the leather pairs might be cool. Or the suede pairs. They got to just do one good one for me. I, I, I like to cop one LeBron, and I just haven't seen one just. Ah, that one's calling me. I do like that new one. It's like blue and like age soul or something like that. No, I haven't seen that. The All Star? Nah, it's not the All Star. Um, I feel like blue it's blue and age soul. I feel like it says Rebel Against Time on the soul or something like that. Uh, but uh, age soul is is like a leather upper looking or suede upper. I like those. Those are super fire. What else is coming out, man? So this is rumored to release also. It look like Rick and Morty. Sean Weatherspoon. Gazelle. Man, what's up with Corduroy. all these flip flops, man? Is this his first shot with a spoon? Adidas? No, 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 no right? No, 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 I'm tripping. No, no. He has a ton of Adidas now. He Adidas really let him cook. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but I like these. Gazelle. Typically, though? not an Adidas fan. Those are ugly. And we're going to say this a couple of times. I'm going to say this a couple of times for a right, couple of say, say, say the full shoes so the listener just can know. Sean Witherspoon times Adidas Gazelle indoor corduroy. Releasing May 16th, 2023. It's around the fire to me. I'm not going to lie to you. If you look closely, they got corduroy on them. Bro. Gum bottom. They're fun. I just know you're not going to cop these. Oh, I'm not copping these at all. But these are fun. And I like what they're doing with this. They're doing the Adidas thing for me. Like, all right, cool. I can get down with this shoe. I can get jiggy with this. Everything else, I'm not rolling. That's a big drop off. You dropping this one? A gazelle in general is just not a good looking shoe. It's not. It, it's reminiscent of the Samba. And they're both ugly. But I'm copping. Another mm. Adidas honorable mention. Adidas Samba. Samba Pharrell. Human made. Human race. Adidas Samba for real human race. It's like a lavender pair. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I know I didn't put it in the deck, but super fire shoe. I'm digging them. I like them a lot. Let's keep it with Adidas. Let's keep it with Adidas? Yeah, for, for now. 
All right. Now these. All right. Man, these are. Hold on, hold on, are, hold on. Is this a new pair? A new pair of Adidas? Like a new silhouette? I don't think so. I think this has already came out before. Adidas, Pusha T, Supernova, Thorn. These are these are cool. I'd cop these to be honest for retail. I do like this shoe. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap and say I don't like it. Push I think it. it's in line with the new balance and the it's a Coney. Great, great dad shoe. Yeezy seven hundred. Exactly. Great dad shoe. I think it's very much in line with that. Looks like it's gonna be very comfy. Problem is for me is Pusha T put it on. He had that fit. Oops. He had that fit on. He had on all white. Cocaine white. I'm pretty sure it was like a Ralph Ralph Simmons or something like that. But <laughs> I I just for me, I, I want to see Pusha T in like a, a samba. I think a samba would be a better Coke boy shoe to complete the character of Pusha T. Um this shoe doesn't add that Coke boy character to me. It's like Coke boy retired to dad. It's exactly what he is, though. Unfortunately, that's not what I want to hear or see or buy. I like this shoe. If it was connected to somebody else, it might have been a little bit better. The fact that it's connected to Pusha T, I'm going to pass. I'll, I'll cop those for retail, especially if they had like a, a neutral tone colorway. If they keep pushing those, Adidas might be able to make a, a little comeback. I think so. I think I think they're doing a little resurgence right now, trying to restore the feeling. <laughs> I'm not copping those. I, I cop those retail. I want to talk about one more release real quick before we get into some more speculations about what's coming out. We've talked about this shoe on this episode on the podcast a couple times because it's very hyped. I know we keep trying to shoot it down. People keep hating on it. The closer it gets to release date, the more I like them. No. Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, Air Jordan, OG High. It drops May 20th for the price of, the low, low price of $200. These are big disgustos. <laughs> These are starting to that, get that more, print, more fire. That print on the, the high ankle fire. is disgusting, bro. It's like a comic book. It is. I've always... Wanted that on a pair of sneakers. I think they just, they need to steer away from the Chicago. Especially once we, once we, we dead eyes got the Chicago not too long ago. And a restock if it hasn't already happened. While yeah, I think it's going to happen real soon. This so recording, sure, by this recording, it's probably happening. Make sure to stay tuned with the sneakers app real soon, guys. If you missed out on Chicago's, double up. If, if you, not, if you, you don't can just care, get these. If you don't care, you're an idiot. Chicago's. If not, just get these. Just get these. I'm getting. I'm gonna get these. Hopefully, you guys keep the same energy and don't like them. I would the buy these for the sole reason of Spider Man of flipping them. <laughs> I'm copping these. You know what I hate? I hate the the, ner- the movie nerds. We were just talking about going to movies when we we're off. I hate the movie nerds who go to the movie dressed up. They're hard. It, it irks my skin. It gets under my skin. I'm like, what are these niggas doing? You just want to bully them, huh? Yeah. Why the fuck do they have Mario hats? You just want to grab their shirt collar and just like, what the hell are you doing? When I went to go see Mario, these guys had on these Mario hats. Drip. The only thing I liked was the princesses. Some people had on toad hats. Drip. They were, had mushroom hats on. Drip. Adult men. Drip. Nerds. Drip. Shout out to the nerds out there. Mario Sala 8 it's out of 10. Into the Spider-Verse, I'm copping this. You go, you gonna put on a whole Spider-Man fit. The sp- I'll come with, come with it on the show. You go, a complete you go Spider-Man fit. Some... Remember when Professor did that? You know Professor? Yeah. Fire. Yeah, that's where you gonna come in once that movie drops. Yes, sir. I'm not even that much of a Spider-Man fan, but that's how I learned to draw. I started drawing Spider-Man. Now we're talking to, about... Let's speculate. Let's fucking speculate, baby. Okay. These these are shoes that literally people ride it over. Galaxy Foam. Rumored to release. Hell yeah. Bring them back. These are fire. If you were actually outside. These I wasn't here. outside. That's the problem. And I was I was so sad that I wasn't outside. I was a little kid. I couldn't get them. These are even more fire. I was definitely a kid when these dropped. The homies, definitely, the, the rich homies, shall I say, the definitely rich had these. 
These are fire. Pandemonium. This, to me, is one of the shoes that restored the feeling back in the day. This was a, a shoe that caused mass riots, mass pandemonium, camp out. Wasn't this around like the, the Yeezy 2? 100%. Yeah, right? 100%. So the glow in the dark soul, it just fire. If you look closely, the speckles on this glow in the dark also. Like... This, this is an immaculate shoe. This is by far like the best phone positive. Getting into the pennies, the best phone positive is Royal Phone Positive. I almost wore that. Royal one phone positive. That's the dark blue one, right? Yes. Okay. The one my that baby nice. wore, penny wore, feet, as you would say. That is the one. This though is a very close second to third. What's what's above that? Some people's second might be the Supreme. The black Ooh, and the red. The red one is sick. Then Others the, people's second might be the copper. The copper is nice. A lot of people like the pros. Oh, oh, so the pearl. What's the asteroid? Not the asteroid. The one that has a like a map. That's the um. That's the uh, weatherman. Weatherman. Those weatherman came out when they were doing the KD vibes. Man, these are. Hey, you know what's uh, nice about that? So enough about the galaxy foam. I needed to come out. Speaking about Galaxy, before we move on, they're bringing back the KD4 Galaxy as well. I just seen that. KD4 Fire. Galaxy. Mm. Well, so what, to hoop in or to wear with jeans? To hoop in. People wear the KD, was it five? KD6. People wear the KD6. And what's the one that's coming out? Four. KD4. With jeans. With jeans. People were wearing the KD4 with jeans. They're going to do it I, this I don't time. understand. KD6 was a. Someone stitched one of our TikToks and it said, like, we used to put that on the KD6. I was like, hey, man, it was an error for sure. Don't bring it back. Don't bring it back. Please don't bring it back. Do not bring the KD6. Do not wear the KD6 with any pants unless they're jogging pants. Yeah. Don't wear the KDs with anything that's not jogging pants. Oh, God. Maybe this new KD, though. KD... Uh. 16. 16. I think he's on 16. He's on 16. This is the ultimate bite. Bite for what? Penny Hardaway 2. Check these pennies out, bro. Check that silhouette out, brother. Okay, we've seen this plenty of times, though. Where? I don't know. Never. Nowhere. <laughs> the it's moment inspired. I see... It's not a buy. It's inspiration. The moment I seen this shoe, I said, wow, Nike is 100% running out of ideas. I bought I brought in my Stussy Penny Hardaways. I don't know if you can see them there over there. But that's what this looks like. That's the shoe he wore it in does. game one. <laughs> it's a clean pair. It's a good, it's a good Fire. It's I'm a, rolling with the KD-16. It's an updated Penny 2. How about that? Hybrid. More lighter. Better cushioning. Fire. Not better cushioning. There's Air Max in this. Talk. Let's be real. There's Air Max in there. Let's be real. This is one of the most comfortable penny hard, most comfortable sneakers that Nike has to offer. Let's be real. There's zoom in the forefoot and there's air in the air in the airbag in the in the heel. This shit's outdated, my boy. No, 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 sir. Outdated. I'm telling you right now. Outdated. You've never experienced a shoe like this. Even on the out, the, the whole that traction here. looks crazy. It's crazy. I hooped in the Stussy one. Very nice. Dave, Devin Booker hooped in the Stussy one. Very nice. However. This KD, KD16, I like it. I think it's a bite off of the Penny Hardaway 2, which is why I have pennies all over the set today. Super dope shoe. I'm interested. I would cop these. I wanted to cop the KD15. I just was kind of lacking. I needed the 14, 15. Yeah, I need, I need to update my KD collection. I'm going for this one. KD16, can't wait for it. Um, I think it's, it should be out by the time this podcast drops. I feel like I got one more shoe on the drops. There is one more shoe, but it wasn't on your, your notes. Okay. The washed pinks. Those are coming out literally in like three days. Nike ain't missing this year, man. I'm telling you that. Did I have a crazy take on the washed pink? I don't think you did. I feel like I just said stop washing everything. You said stop washing everything for sure. But I'm going to try and cop the washed pinks. Those are nice. I showed my girl too. She said she wanted them, so. They look a lot good now. It's going to give me an excuse to buy them. They look a lot good. <laughs> I think I'm definitely interested in the wash paint. The Jordan ones are dead for sure. <sighs> this is the, the, the final era of the Jordan one. You're crazy. This is the best silhouette of all time. 
No, no, no. Agreed. I, I oh, think, I I think it, it's there up there in the top. It's not dying. But I think without the OG colorways, we, I could do without it. Uh, put some backstory to this from the other day. So the OG, what, what backstory are you talking about? What, what conversation? No. So we ended up our shift. We started walking to our car. We go into Shoe Palace and the Lucky Green Ones were still there. The DMP Celtics, whatever you guys want to call it. They were still sitting on shelves. I don't think those they raffled those off. I don't think they did. It because was, it's still brick, because it's done. The Jordan ones died. It wasn't a sought after pair when like the that. taxi came out. The taxi, the one that you have, the taxi, fire. Those are fire shoes. Those are so dope. They those leaked sold it. out though. Yep. They weren't sitting on shelves. They, I didn't say that. They leaked for so long. That shoe is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. However, Resale market's not hitting like that. So are you basing the death of the Jordan 1 just solely off the resale market? I'm basing it off of people wanting it. Because whatever the resale market looks like is the resale market. But people actually wanting the sneaker is really important to me. I think you have to want it for it to be sought after. And I just don't feel like people want that shoe as much, which de- depicts the value. No matter what it costs, it can cost 5000 and people actually really just don't want it. You know what I mean? Like the fuzzy shoes. What were those? Uh, the fuzzy dunks. Those are hard. They're really weird. The, the, the Grinch. The Grinch. But so do no. people really want that, though? It's the, very That's niche. an outlandish shoe. It's very You're right. That's, a, that's an outlandish shoe to compare it to. The Jordan ones are dead. When we went into the shoe palace. Taxi's a good example. Greens are sitting on that. shelves. The greens are a great example. They were sitting on shelves. I see all the homies surprising their kids with them because they were just sitting in the store when they could walk in and cop them. And then, I mean, you can't say the death. I mean, you're going to say it's an OG colorway, but they literally made them like so many pairs of this and they wiped everything. A lot of OGs hate that shoe. They wiped everything. I mean, yeah, I don't understand why. Because it's aged, it's, because it's not like it. Uh, I like love the, it when I, I get to age in myself. That like, part. No, bro. It's an experience. It is an experience. I'll give you guys that. I'm going to say something to people. Hey, this is it's a culture. A Chicago. This is a culture. It is a culture. And in this culture, we definitely like to get our shoes and wear them until they get the character. And in this right? culture, this is a very great entry shoe as well. I agree. I think so this is the gap. They're the, bridging it. The culture of stop gatekeeping. That's a lot I of totally people. I totally agree. So a I lot think, of people do. It's a gatekeep. I think the reimagined silhouettes are definitely something to, to look out for. I think that the reimagined one is the start of Ah, uh, I'm gonna take it back. I feel like there was a reimagined three before. It wasn't reimagined, but it was the the '88 threes. That was kind of the start of that for me. It was. They start actually. They start redoing the silhouettes to the old style when they did the twelves back in the day. But the threes were the like the mainstream of it, and now this is the ultimate mainstream of it. Jordan one reimagined. I think the Jordan ones are dead. I think that the OGs are the only thing that's going to survive it. Nah. Yo, those union ones are going to come out. Disgusting. They're disgusting, but we all know. They're going to sell out because of hype. Because they're not dead. We've seen union ones brick up, though. They have the hype train. Which ones? The low top union. Those aren't bricks because they, they also sold No, they out. did not. No, they You're did not. You're basing everything off. No, I'm not. I'm basing it price. off of availability. I can walk into a store and see. The, 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 what is that called? What store? The Union Ones. When what Union store? dropped them. You're not walking to a Union store. When, you know. when they did drop them, they were there in store, full size run. They're, they're, they're not that great. Where's I think it? they're trying to bring back the AKJO. I think that they're, they're, that's another shoe rumored. The Shadow Low, AKJO, and the Bread, AKJO, Low. Yeah, they can keep that. They can keep all of them. They can keep that. I like the union. They can one keep though. that high too. The union one is nice. I'm gonna keep my same energy on that woven high top. That wo- the footscape union, it's dummy it's, garbage. It's gonna be worth a lot. I totally understand that. Problem is that it's just not gonna really hit like that for me on the on the energy side. It's all white. Speaking of hit like that on the energy side, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice. She killed this track, bro. What's the name of this song? Princess Diana. The Princess Diana remix. I don't even know how she killed the song. All I know is I was just seeing ass shaking. That's all you noticed? I literally just seen it going viral. I seen Ice Spice and Nicki and I was in. 
I, I looked at the video. The video's right here. I don't even know if it'll play, but. <laughs> you know what team, I mean? Bro. When I seen this joint, I was like, yo, not Ice Spice and Nikki. Nah, Nikki, I wasn't really mesmerized, unlike yourself, but, you know, Nikki did kill this song, though. I ain't even hear the song yet. She see? she watched. I ain't nice gonna place. lie to you. See, I didn't hear the bars. I didn't hear the bar. I watched the video on silent. Mesmerized by cheeks. That's it. Hypnotized. I mean, not even just cheeks, just Ice Spice and Nikki. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't even hear the song. I still till it right now, I still have not heard the song. See. Is it good, you said? It, it's it was an alright song before, but Nikki did snap off. Thought I was feeling you. It might as well finish it. I can't finish it. I don't really want to finish it. Uh, I'm not really liking the state of women's hip hop that much right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just like the lyrics are just not that great. What's next, man? The state of women's hip hop might be okay if we put it in Doja Cat's hands. <laughs> Kill Bill <laughs> featuring Doja Cat. Fire. No. Yo. When I heard Kill Bill is already a beautiful song. And it's I, fire. And I don't think Doja Cat enhanced it at all. When I heard Doja Cat spazzing out on these records, I was like, what is she talking about? This is so fire. She just needs to stay on Instagram live and shaving her eyebrows off again. Doja Cat. Doja Cat fine. With the eyebrows she, off? Everything. And the bald head? Yep. Baddie. Baddie with the baldy. She was a baddie wearing a cow suit. That's about it. She's a baddie with the baldy, too. She's not baddie with a baldy. Baddie with a baldy. Kill Bill, Doja Cat. I'm messing with this. I play this still to this day. I'm going to play it every day. I really like Doja Cat's verse on this. It really made me think of, hmm. We need more verses on this, on this beat. Not Doja Cat, though. Let's get these guys spazzing. Retirement bars from Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. We need Kill someone. Because this is a fire beat. I mean, it's an amazing song already. Definitely amazing song, Fire Beat. So we go from Fire Beat, amazing song. Another fire song. No. Stop it. No Love for a Thug by Kodak Black is by far his worst work ever. This is him showing his softer side. Kodak Black. He's done that plenty of times before. He's speaking to the ladies on this He's one. done this plenty this of times. This is not time. for you. This is he's, for the ladies. He's done this plenty of times. Well, what's the other album you said a couple weeks ago? Scaring the hoes? That's what he was doing with this one. This is scaring the hoes? He's for sure scaring nah, the hoes. Nah, this is for the ghetto hoes. Bro, for sure. this sound like like one of his first songs he's ever made off his phone. That's that's kind of fire. And he just dropped it. That's nostalgic. It. Uh, hey, chat GPT. I mean, not chat GPT. AI could just do this. Create. Bro, no, this song is create. Make a song like Kodak Black when he started. Terrible. This is fire. No, this is not an AI song for sure. I'm rocking with this. AI not making a song like this. Kodak Black. This is going to be song of the summer. Let's move on, bro. Cats going to break up with their girl to this. Fire. I didn't put another record on here, but I do have another record. It's Mozzie. Have you heard that? I have not heard Mozzie's. We we can save it to next week, or you want you to just play it out loud right now. I have one record that you didn't like. Shout out Posty. Shout out, Posty. We'll talk about the talk about next a week. summer hit. What the? What did Posty do? Posty made a a pop. Just what's the name of the song? I forgot what it's called already. <laughs> Please, yeah, that, that's how you know it's not good. No, it's great. Like, oh, this song's fire. It's great, and you don't know the name it's of really, it. You don't um, know any lyrics. Chemical, chemical. Yeah, and he's talking about what chemicals? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. All I, all I hear is a pop beat, and it's fire. Post, you're a cornball. Post is a goat. Post is a cornball. Post is a goat. I used to think Post Malone was fire and when he did White Iverson. Then once he denounced hip hop, I was out of there. He went totally left and he's a great artist. He, he can do it all. Don't get me wrong. He can do it all. Post Malone is very good. But once you denounce hip hop, i.e. a la Miley Cyrus, a la Lil Bow Wow. Lil la, Yachty did it. Lil Yachty. He didn't. He did, but he didn't. He said that he's not boxed in. Right after he put that album out, he put out another rap song. Fire. Fire. Still in the studio making raps. So, 
to your point, I'm pretty sure the post song is very much a poppy song. It's probably gonna be a song of the summer. It is song of the summer. Is Unless post the song we- okay? Okay. There was like videos going out. That's of him, how. Like, uh, if you're gonna keep pulling up that performance, that's how he performs that song each and every time. Like laying on the ground, like with the mic. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, just, that's a heartfelt that's song. That's terrible. Heartfelt. AI could do Post How you Malone's was talking job. about Kodak Black song, this is how Post Malone actually feels that. AI could do Post Malone's job. I'm just saying. I haven't heard the song. I think I did hear the song. I heard the song. You played the song, right? I heard it one time. You heard it. It was a one time listen. Never listen to it again. You say that and like, get, get, all right, guys, give this guy a couple of weeks. He's going to be like, you know what? See, I was wrong. That song is fire. I never he really did this to like post. Two, he did this to like two albums already. The Yachty album. What other one? You're going to come around to this one. I, I doubt it. No, you are. I'm not really a fan of the Post Malone stuff. I mean, I probably like the older stuff, but. All of his catalog is legendary. Cultural appropriation of his finest. Once he, he, you see, he took the braids out, painted his nails, switch it all up. Switch it all up. Yeah, he's been. He's a rock star now. He's a rock star, hip hop artist, anything you could think of. He's not a hip hop country. artist. Country. Post Malone, he country, yes. Country, he is hip-hop, not a hip hop artist. R&B. I will never listen he does to Post everything. Malone do a rap ever. You just said White Iverson is one of his. Your favorite songs. What are you talking about? That was when I thought he was going a certain way. Once I realized he was going the other way, you I got out no of that room. You make no sense, my friend. I got out of that room. You make no sense, I just, my friend. My new thing is I want to give flowers without just hate. I feel like sometimes I come on here and I just deliver hate. And people are like, oh, he doesn't really like that. It's, it's just not for me. Just speak what you think, man. I do. And I'm saying it's not for me. The White Irish thing I thought it was. He switched it up right after that. You tricked me. You walked me in the door, buddy. So he led you on. That's what you're saying. Pretty much. So that's why you don't like him? There's also... Because his country music, There's fire. also remembrance of Slow Post Malone R&B, fire. out there saying nigga. Mm. There's also remnants of Post Malone. He's out there. He's like, what's up, my niggas? Or whatever he said it. However he said it. I'm just not rolling. You know what Post Malone song I like? What song is that with Sway Lee? Sunflower? Congra- no. Congratulations? Sunflower. Sunflower. It's one of the biggest songs of all time. This is probably right there. Into the Spider Verse. That's it. That's there. That's when Posty. Ah, That's not can't. a rap song he either. Pull me back in. No, Sway Lee is the one who got me on that song. I'm not gonna lie. Sway Lee, friend of the show, come on the show. Sway Lee, you got me on that song. I I forgot Post Malone was even on that song. However, you got anything else, man? Nah, you just keep flip flopping. You ended the, the flopping like the, a fish. You ended the one podcast saying. A hot take? This is what you're doing? No, 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 no. I don't have necessarily a hot take. I just, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, my God. You said Tyler was... Tyler's the new Kanye. The new Kanye. Absolutely. What album does Tyler have that is comparison Igor. to any Igor. Kanye album? Igor. What does he have this comparison to Dark Twisted Fantasy? Igor. Igor's comparison to Dark Twisted Fantasy? Yes, absolutely. You're out of your mind. Absolutely. You're out of your mind. You're delusional right now. Ain't no one switch up like that. What does that. he have? His first album is not compared to Kanye's first album at all. It's not. Can't hold a flame to it. It's not. I'm not, I'm not doing that. The best Tyler's done is... I never compared... Maybe Life of Pablo I never style. compared Tyler... To Kanye, you literally just said he's. The I new Kanye. said he is the new Kanye. You just said he's. Ain't the new no Kanye. ain't no one out here doing it like that, like Tyler, like like Tyler. No, yeah, there is a lot of people. Who IDK? No, I don't mean I don't know. IDK is doing no, it like, not, yay. Now that like you're trying to say the next no, yay. No, 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 no. He's ripping yay. There's difference. He's he's bar for, AIing yay. He's bar for bar. Ripping he's a, he's the AI of he's yay. Bar, where were we? Where were we sorry saying? for that. IDK rips Kanye bar for bar. Logic rips Kendrick bar for bar. We're not doing that. And he says the N word. Logic. Okay, we get it. You have a hatred towards Logic. And when you guys meet in person. No, but I'm saying Logic rips Kendrick bar for bar. When you when you meet Logic, I want you guys to do the Cholo pose down to here when it's Kumbaya. I just want to have an objective conversation. That's it. That is all. Either way. I don't hate Logic. Tyler puts the envelope and his clothes and his music. 
I think Tyler is more Pharrell to me. Anything artistic. Pharrell's right there with Ye when it comes to, to everything. They're a little different. Kanye, to producing. He's done all that. To me, Tyler, Kanye is more urban than Pharrell. He is. A oh, thousand percent. <laughs> black. Tyler's like from down the street. When I say urban, he's I mean from black. like South Central. Tyler, Tyler grew up in the Fairfax era. He's a little bit whitewashed. Damn, that's how you doing, my boy. Uh, he definitely grew up. He's definitely South Central guy. He's definitely black. I'm not gonna do that. Tyler the Creator, if you guys could, if you could ever come to the show, I love Tyler. I don't want no smoke with Tyler. He's definitely a monster. <laughs> I love. Tyler. I would understand, oh, but that's just not, no one's doing it. Maybe Travis Scott. That's it. Like Kanye. Yeah. IDK. See, IDK doesn't have that. I don't know if he produces. You, you can school me with IDK a little bit. I actually do not like IDK because he rips Kanye. He rips Kanye. He does. He's not doing it like Kanye. There's a difference. Okay. I'll accept that. But Tyler's not the new Kanye. Tyler may be the new Pharrell. But new Kanye. I don't. That's there's just no that. new Kanye. It's just that, you know? I'm gatekeeping. Yeah. I'm gatekeeping the Kanye. There's no new Kanye. There could never be. He doesn't even speak out to anybody. See, that's another thing, too, that Kanye does. That's another thing that Kanye Tyler does. Tyler doesn't speak out to anybody? Are you stupid? Honestly, just, I'm scared of this conversation. No, 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 no. He literally just I'm not doing it. His, his, I'm not doing I'm not getting this one. I'm not going to do he it. He literally confessed it. He God. did, and he keeps doing it on each <laughs> album. Guys, thank you again for watching the Fair Game podcast. See, he's absolutely delusional. Appreciate you guys for watching. <laughs> Once again, this has been another episode of the Fair Game Podcast. I am C. This is Cash. And we are out. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget, you are your main character in your story. Dress like it.